That is a tight fit. Son of a bee. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a rainy day today, so I thought I'd add a few accessories to my Triumph Speed Twin. Let's see what I got. Cool thing is this already came with a battery tender end, so I could plug in the USB easily. Just have to route the wires nicer. They're just kind of shoved in here for some reason. But first thing to do is the USB charger. And I'm gonna run a wire for my iPhone underneath the tank and up through to the handlebar area where I'll have a mount of some kind. I haven't decided which one yet. So we'll start with that. I think I'm going to start up here, have some slack for the phone, and then I'm going to follow all the wires down, the cables, and follow all the power and everything through and underneath, strap it in, and then we'll leave all the slack under the seat. Kind of faking it until I can find it with my fingers. All right, well that was a little bit of a pain, but it wasn't too bad. Let's get this tank locked back down.
guess I have to resort to zip ties. These little rubber straps just aren't working. They fly off because it's under too much tension, I think, to hold this together. So I'll just use zip ties. By no means is this a perfect install, however, I think it'll work as long as this presses down a little bit and the seat goes on. Yep, sweet. Now it's time for my GoPro mount. It's aluminum, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna set it right here and then have a GoPro Hero session facing back at me. And it's pretty solid. Yeah, it's pretty good. So that's what we're looking at. Next up, heat gun, it's goo gun, getting rid of some of these warning stickers. Well, this bike has no storage really of any kind, so I wanted to keep my insurance on the bike along with my wallet and the registration as well. So I picked up this overpriced Roland Sands wallet, folded everything up in here. It's really tiny, probably won't get any water in it. So I'll probably just set it in there like that and see if the seat goes on. Sweet! These reflectors can't stay either. It's the first thing you take off your bicycle when you're a kid anyway. That was too easy. Little goo gone, it should be all good.
So I got an idea for a cool GoPro mount using a RAM mount piece here. Of one, I think they're a one inch ball. Um, I got a stainless steel metric eight millimeter with a 1.25 pitch thread, stainless steel washers. So I'm going to attach it to threaded hole here that the bobbins go in to lift your rear wheel with a stand. I probably will use one eventually, but I don't often lift the bike, so it's a good use of a empty uh, threaded hole. Good measure. I use stainless because I don't want it to rust obviously. And I don't know, it may not react with aluminum as bad as standard galvanized or zinc plated. I don't know that for a fact, but we'll see. All right, you can kind of see what's going on here. I got a GoPro, an extension arm here. So let's see how this fits. I'll definitely have to find out how much lean I can do without this scraping. And I'm sure this will shake up quite a bit, maybe. I'm sure this is going to be a little bit of an issue, but we'll see if the uh, stabilization this thing has helps. It may, I'm not sure. but. I'll show you guys when it stops raining how good it looks or if it looks good at all. I don't know. But that should be a pretty cool view. Do the wide angle mode. Sweet. I also got this license plate bracket. It's just a Amazon, eBay, like 25 bucks, maybe 30. It's billet aluminum and it's anodized. I got like the gun metal. This is probably just a placeholder until Triumph actually makes a nice tail tidy. But for 30 bucks or so, I think it's worth trying. And uh, it came with a light, but I wanna use the original light because it's LED for the license plate. So let's see if this is gonna work out or not. So after disassembly, I realized that bracket's just not going to be much better than this one as far as where it's located. And it's a lot of work just to get it to look right. So I'm going to reinstall this and I may just take this back section off here and then bend up some sheet metal and make a little tab here for the license plate. Either that or wait for Triumph to uh, make something cool. Alright, let's put this back on. Well, I think that's gonna do it for today. I have a few things on order at the dealership that haven't come in yet. And I just don't think that license plate thing's gonna work out for me, so I'll hold off on that. As ugly as the stock one is, I'll just deal with it. I decided not to use the RAM mount that I have here. It works great, I love it. However, it's kinda ugly, and I wanna try one of those quad locks that you see on Instagram all the time. So I ordered one of those. I'll see how I like that. I will kind of be disappointed having to switch cases because there's no way I want to keep that case on there all the time. But we'll see how it goes. And I also got myself a mini T disc lock. It was on sale or clearance made by Oxford from Revzilla. Um, I'll probably never use this, but it's good to have. I've never had one before. If I go on long trips, maybe I'll use it, but it's, it seems to be safe in my garage without it. Well, thanks for watching everybody. Sorry it wasn't too eventful, but you gotta start somewhere, get some comfort items in there, convenience items. 
Um, I think the next time I will uh, have cooler things to show you. Please like and subscribe if you like what you saw. Hope to see you next time. Thanks a lot.